updating mega ships nearly three times larger than any vessel that has thus far trans, trans, transited the isthmus. Transoceanic freighters from China will have enhanced access to the coal fields of Colombia. Now, let me say this about China, right? Now, you have all these, uh, how can I say, uh, allies, these unions coming together of these different nations. Like you got NATO, uh, which is the, um, uh, what do you call it, the uh, yeah, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, but that's called an acronym, all right? Now, you have this one, you have the EU, or uh, European Union, but you have this one new one that the, the acronym is BRICS. I don't know if you want to look it up, brother. BRICS represent, the B represents um, Brazil. The R represent Russia. The I represent India. The C represent China. And the S represents South Africa. So that's a new union that's been brought together. Is America's not in there. Now you got China, which has over a billion, a population of over a billion people. So they can, they can, they can put together a 10 million man ar army just like that, man. Then you got Russia. Russia's just, Russia's itching to get in America's ass. You got Brazil with all that, all that, with the resources. So everybody's setting up their own gangs, their own alliances. That's the word I'm looking for. They're not doing business with with the U.S. anymore. See, U.S. is uh, is the uh, wor world reserve currency. Do you know? Let me let me explain that. Because part of this truth, you have to know finance as well. World, the world reserve uh, currency goes back to World War II. Because the U.S. Was, were the winners of World War II. So they made that the world reserve currency, the, the Federal Reserve. If you want to buy oil, let's say China wants to buy oil from... Iran or Iraq. Let's say Iraq. China wants to buy oil from Iraq. China can't use their money to buy that oil. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to take what their, mo their money system is. I think that's, is that the yen or the yuan? China is the yuan. The yuan. They would have to take the yuan and they would have to convert it to Federal Reserve notes then they would have to take the Federal Reserve notes and they would have to pay um, Iraq with the Federal Reserve notes. So if the, if the uh, American dollar, the U.S. dollar is weak, then it may take more dollars to, to pay for that gas or that oil. So people don't want that. So people are saying to hell with that, man. We don't recognize the U.S. no more. We don't recognize its currency. And by the way, the U.S. doesn't even have a currency. The, the U.S. uses Federal Reserve notes, which is uh, set up by the Federal Reserve system, which is outside of uh, the U.S. That's a federal bank. That's a bank of issue. A bank of issue is a bank, is a bank that, that, that creates money out of thin air because that's what they're doing. That's why the... the the Federal Reserve note is so weak, and what they do is they put it in the circulation. Okay, so now you understand that. So what 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 BRICS is, is doing? They're bypassing America, man. They're saying, okay, you can say say you the Federal you the uh, uh, the your reserve uh, uh, currency, world reserve currency, but we ain't we don't hear that. We're doing our own thing. And what you gonna do? Attack us? If you attack Brazil, guess what? Did you got to deal with the Russians, yeah. and you got to deal with the Chinese. Yeah. If you try to mess with South Africa, you got to deal with the Russians, and you got to deal with the Chinese. All right, go ahead, Ock. Yeah, this is from uh, Wikipedia entitled "Bricks." It says "Bricks," which, like Elder Tar explained, is an acronym. Bricks 
originally brick before the inclusion of South Africa in 2010. Now, South Africa is part of that because there's a lot of mineral resources in South Africa. Right. Uh, originally brick before the inclusion of South Africa in 2010 is the title of an association of emerging national economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. With the possible exception of Russia, the BRICS members are all developing or newly industrialized countries, but they are distinguished by their large, fast-growing economies and significant influence on regional and global affairs. As of 2013, the five BRICS countries represent almost 3 billion people with a combined nominal GDP of $14.9 U.S. trillion. Mm. Um, and an estimated U.S. $4 trillion in combined foreign reserves. Presently, South Africa holds the chair of the BRICS group. Uh, it says in 2012, Hu Jintao... Who, who at the time was president of China, described the BRICS countries as defenders and promoters of developing countries and a force for world peace. That's what uh, Hugin uh, Tao said about uh, this uh, alliance called BRICS. However, some analysis have highlighted potential divisions and weaknesses in the grouping, such as India and China, India, India and China's disagreements over territorial issues, slowing growth rates, and disputes between the members over the UN Security Council reform. That kind of brings uh, to mind one scripture, um, why do the heathen rage? That's right. And the people, yeah, people imagine a vain thing, because here they're trying to come together, and it's not working. You know, they're, they're having differences between each other, even though they're making all this money. Yeah, that's the Lord. That's the Most High stirring up con controversy, so that when the time comes, the Lord can use them nations to fight against each other. Right. Just like when Yahweh Shai came down to work on that uh, Persian king's mind, right. you know, he was working on his mind for a purpose that he that he had purpose for that king. You know, that's what the Lord does. He says uh, that the uh, heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord, like rivers of water. He drives it whether he wants it to go. So if, overall, the Most High is in control down here. He's controlling everything. <laughs> Now, I'm going to just jump from this one article to the next. This is on page 21. This is called Anglo-America. Because we're talking about the America as a world currency and all that, you know. It says, uh, this, it says, guess who's dumping stocks? Despite the mild stock market rally in recent months, a handful of billionaires are swiftly and quietly dumping their American stocks. Warren Buffett, who has been a cheerleader for U.S. stocks for quite some time, is dumping shares at an alarming rate. Buffett's holding com company, Berkshire Hathaway, recently sold roughly 19 million shares of Johnson & Johnson and reduced its overall stake in consumer product stocks by 21%. Fellow billionaire John Paulson is following suit and recently dumped 14 million shares of J.P. Morgan's Chase. George Soros recently sold nearly all his bank stocks, including shares of J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup, and Goldman Sachs. With the Federal Reserve Quantitative Easing Program unleashing inflationary forces, it is only a matter of time until U.S. Treasury bonds are practically worthless. So basically, they're letting you know that that that, that all this stuff just happened. Even these guys that are that are once staunch uh, um, advocates for for America and, and their currency are now dropping uh, 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 certain uh, currencies and certain uh, um, stocks that they have invested in this country. Why? Because they see that that the the they see that that hyperinflation coming. They see the dollar dropping. They see how the prices are going up, which means the dollar is being devalued day by day. And after a while, once the, once the dollar crashes, all that U.S. bonds and treasuries and all that is all going to be worthless. It ain't, ain't going to be worth nothing. It ain't, it ain't, it, the end thing ain't no more to try to get uh, uh, um, American currency you know, for, for your country. There was a time where, where the um, U.S. dollar was stronger than any other currency around the world. You know, people, were, people uh, uh, covered it after the, uh, the dollar. But it's not, it's not so now. The dollar is going down now. 
They ain't gonna say something. You know what that means? <clears throat> All you so-called rich jokers out there, uh, primarily them so-called celebrities like Jay Z and Beyonce and uh, and. Uh, all you other people that, all that um, FRNs you got ain't going to be worth nothing, man. Yep. So, you know, you might have a guy, he might be, he might, you might have uh, Donald Trump, people like that, stupid people. Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan, all you people do jakes with all them, all them FRNs you got are worthless, man. So when they do that, all that money you got ain't going, you ain't going to have no money. 